Hi, thank you for joining us. We're live from Silicon Valley, California at the Wii Video headquarters. I'm Max. And I'm Tyler. We're back at it. <laughs> Here we go again, third time. <laughs> first, of the, first of the year, though. Um, so today we're going to be talking about adding your branding or watermark to any of your logo, or yeah, adding your branding, logo, or watermark to all of your videos. We have this new product feature which makes it super easy for you to set initially and then for each different video you put out, it's right there, all done for you. Yeah, so we're gonna walk you through that process. Pretty straightforward and simple. So it should be a shorter one and we have, have some time for questions and yep. uh, hopefully you guys so, yeah. are joining in right now. So as always, uh, we'd love to hear in the comments section below where you're watching from, what you're currently using WeVideo for, and what you'd like to use WeVideo for. Uh, we use this business segment to find out new features that we should look into creating, as well as new topics that we should go live and address or blog about. Yeah. Um, with that in mind, our latest blog, which we did actually get inspired from this group, was how to create video thumbnails. And we'll post the link in the comments section, uh, but encourage you to check that out. That goes into detail really on how to make a great video thumbnail, because oftentimes just a screenshot from the video won't cut it. Thumbnails are important. Yep. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, let's get into how to add your branding to your video. Cool. So Tyler, where do you find this feature? Yeah, so let's hop into Wii Video here and we'll show you guys how to do this. Um, I've gone through the process already, so if you guys um, are just logging into Wii Video since this product was updated, you'll see a couple different things. Um, mostly just a pop-up kind of taking you through how to do this, um, but I'm going to show you in depth. So after you see that pop-up, you'll be in your dashboard, and in the lower left corner here, you'll see Manage Brand. Um, Actually, before we go for the just want to point out that this feature is only available for the professional and business plan. We're showing it right now on the business plan, but it's very similar to go and find it on the professional plan as well. Yeah. Okay. Back to you. Cool. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled program. All right. So we'll be in this screen now. Um, and this is where you can make all your adjustments that will globally affect uh, these different features. All right. So you'll notice here we've got this example preview. Um, and this is where you guys will add your logo. Okay. So, like I've mentioned, I've already added a logo, but let's just kind of take you through this process. So you click on Replace Logo, and then it'll take you to your desktop or wherever you have these different um, assets. So this is great for small business, um, entrepreneurs, anyone making marketing videos, like say you have a bicycle shop, football league or a fitness trainer or maybe you're a rancher and uh, you have cattle you need to brand. Okay, so I'm going to use this football one. Uh, one thing to note, JPEGs, TIFFs, or PNGs can be loaded in and you want the smallest side to be 800 pixels across. Yeah, so preferably a high-res image and at its largest 800 pixels. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So I'm going to use a PNG just because that transparency looks nice to me. Um, I've already got it loaded, but you would choose one of these and just open, all right? Okay, next up, we've got a couple options here. So you can choose your alignment, opacity, size. Um, depending on where you want to place this, you can actually switch over the preview too to see kind of a busier background and how that would look with your logo there. So you can notice there in, in her hair, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to put it right corner. Yeah. Another thing to point out is you upload your logo here, and you can specify where you'd want it, how big you want it. But you can also make tweaks to these once you're in the app. The main thing you need to do is upload the logo here, as well as setting your brand colors and brand fonts. Which we'll get to right now. Perfect. Segway. Cool. So once you're done with your logo and watermark, um, Leave it there. We can, we'll get back to uh, that aspect a little bit later, actually. So stay tuned. And here we have our colors and fonts. So uh, a couple options on how to choose your colors. 
you can either select one of these preset colors, use the color wheel, or if you have a hex code already, like we do here at Weave Video, you can just go ahead and plug that in here. Uh, so you get two colors, a primary and a secondary, and then with fonts you can have up to three specified. You can also pick any other font in our library once you're in the app, but these are just the, the fonts that are associated with your brand. Yep. So you can see I've already selected three here. Um, choose whichever you like. All right, and then this section we're not going to dive too deep into. Um, you can find more about this on the blog. Yes, there's also a detailed blog that goes over all of this branding as well. We'll post that in the comments also. Uh, but basically, it's just allowing, if you're a business account, you can apply these global changes to everyone on the account, and they'll be able to keep that brand um, uniform across all videos. Make things simple and easy for you. Sweet. That, let's, uh, let's go into the app. Cool. Moving through it quick. This is probably going to be a quick one. So like we said, <laughs> yeah. give us some questions <laughs> on the uh, live video. Hopefully people tune in. I don't know, do we have an audience going now? We've got a few live viewers. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. Cool. So let's hop into the editor. You can see I've already created this video. Um, oh. And I've already got my watermark there, so I'm going to delete that real quick and just show you how to do that again. All right. So one thing to note is you can upload your or put the branding into your timeline whenever. Uh, however, we do encourage you probably to do it towards the end or once you're sort of finished with uploading all of your other content because it'll expand automatically to the entire length of your timeline. Yeah. So if you do it at the very beginning and then you add, I don't know, 45 minutes worth of footage, you're going to have to drag it all the way along to the end if you want it to be there the entire time. Yeah, it's just, just easy. kind of like a chore. But a little easier to yeah. apply afterwards. We'll show you um, kind of what we're talking about right now. So to apply that watermark that we created in the dashboard, or in the brand manager, I should say, you're going to do, just like you would add a video track, click on this plus button here, and you'll see this new pop-up. And we have the watermark to our right. Go ahead, select that, press OK, and there it is. Um, just like we set in the other uh, section, you can see it's upper right corner, same size, same opacity. Um, you have the option to trim this. So if you have an intro, outro, a lot of times Just I like to put a little, there, yeah. yeah. You can make sure that the, the oh, watermark's yeah. not there as well. Exactly. Kind of distracting. All right. Let's say. So yeah, how do you go about updating or editing the logo from the timeline? Yeah, let's say we don't like the placement now. Good news is we don't have to go back in to that, good, good. To that section to do it. We can actually just click into our editor, just like you would normally, double click, or hit that pencil icon. And I can make those same changes, right? Put it in a different corner. Let's go here. Change the opacity, size. Layer. Yeah. Perfect. So you have the same options. Um, if you guys tuned into our last live video, we showed you a similar um, process, I guess, of making watermarks. It's a little bit more complicated. This makes things very easy for you. Um, you don't have a couple other options. If you really wanted to animate this or do other things, there still is the ability to do that. This is just really allowing you to um, simply create this and quickly, I should say, create this. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, with that, let's move kind of to our next section, um, how to actually implement the colors and the fonts. Uh, I am seeing quite a few questions. We'll address these at the end or if we have another lull. Um, but quickly, let's kind of go over the adding the bumpers. All right. So, yeah, if you're, if you want to, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> let's go to the motion titles. Yeah, motion titles. Okay, let's do that. So, just a couple more things here. If you guys remember, we put those brand colors, so you might be asking, where are those? So um, if you hop into your text, grab a motion title, drag it into the timeline, and you're going to go ahead and get into the clip editor. So double click in, 
go to your color just like you normally would, and you can see here this new brand colors. Right at the so top So I can there. quickly select my brand colors, make sure everything's, um, you know, looking to my brand. And the same can be done for the fonts that we selected. So notice here, all those Perfect. fonts we there selected. And if you guys ever want to go back and make changes, maybe you want to update your logo, there's something that you, you know, change the text or yep. a new so company name. That uh, kind of ties into a couple of the questions we're getting. So you oh, can cool. upload, yeah, first question is, how many logos can you upload at a time? So you can upload one logo at a time. It will replace that logo that you previously had there. Um, but it's pretty easy process, and you can always go back to what you had before by just hitting the replace again and looking at your library. Or exactly. uploading it from your computer once more. Yep. Um, since we are on the business account, I do want to point out that <coughs> default, you can add more users, but a business account comes with the main account and then three additional sub accounts. Mm -hmm. So if you're the kind of the host of the business, you can set your logo and then you have the three others who can then use that branding that you put in place. Cool. Any other um, questions? Yes. And this kind of ties into our next thing. Um, if I'm making an ad, can I convert it to a different format once I've finished the edit? Ah, great question. So a great feature with WeVideo is that you can create content in horizontal, vertical, and square. Nice yeah, thing is yeah. that you start something in horizontal, you can change it to a different format. Say you post on YouTube and then want to put that same content on Instagram, square is better for that. So let's kind of go over how that process would work. Yeah, it's really easy. Or in this case, going from... Yeah, we're in square right square now. Square to... So just go up to this hamburger icon, click change format, have all three options, just go horizontal, put it on YouTube, and you can see it's um, updated everything to fit that aspect ratio. And we still have our watermark up there. Perfect. Yeah, and if you guys are in the group, we recommend you guys try this out, show us how you use it, um, and prov provide some feedback if it's yep. working, if you like it. And this feature is available now uh, for the professional and business plans who use. If you're on the power or unlimited, you will have to upgrade. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, great. I think that's everything for today. If we have any more questions? Awesome. Well, again, if you have any more comments or you'd like to see any additional content or us going live about any other topics, please comment below. And with that's that, it. I think that's all for now. Signing off from WeVideo, I'm Max. I'm Tyler. Thanks Great. for watching. Till next time.